In the Alaskan Arctic, another confrontation is developing between the federal government and conservationists on the question of oil and gas drilling. This time, it's in the vast region of the North Slope to the west of the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge and existing oil fields, an area called the National Petroleum Reserve, Alaska. The National Petroleum Reserve is the biggest single piece of public land in the United States, over 23 million acres. Much of that acreage exists as extremely productive wetland, attracting nesting birds from all over the world, from every continent, from every ocean. It's also the primary calving grounds for nearly half a million caribou, and home to populations of polar and grizzly bears, wolves, and other wildlife. Along the Colville River, the largest in the Arctic, high bluffs provide critically important nesting sites for hawks, falcons, and eagles. Biological diversity actually increases as you move westward across the Arctic coastal plain, and that's one of the reasons the National Petroleum Reserve does have great value for conservation. The Petroleum Reserve was established in 1923 as a source of oil for the U.S. Navy, but it's not yet been developed beyond a few exploration wells, and there have been special areas set aside as having particular importance for wildlife, areas off-limits to drilling. Conservationists are not opposed to all drilling in the National Petroleum Reserve. We know it is there for production. We simply think there are some areas of such important biological value that they deserve uh, special protection. But now the Bush administration has decided to accelerate development in the reserve by opening virtually all of its northeastern portion to oil and gas leasing, including the Colville River Corridor and the area around Teshekpuk Lake long recognized by scientists as an especially sensitive habitat for nesting migratory birds. There is very little human development in this region. There's very little disturbance for these birds. And uh, the predator numbers are lower than in some of the other developed areas of the North Slope. All that would change, they say, if these sensitive areas are developed for oil and gas like neighboring areas to the east. Development not only disturbs the habitat, but brings increasing numbers of predators like foxes, ravens, and gulls that benefit from human structures and food waste. We risk tipping a balance, if you will, by exposing that region to a lot of development and the consequential association of higher nest predators, let alone the great risk of oil spills that would very much change the productiveness of that habitat. It would toxify it. Because migratory birds from all over the planet could be affected, conservationists say everyone has a stake in ensuring the petroleum reserve is developed with special protections needed for wildlife. Last year, a court decision delayed the government's plan, but the sale of oil and gas leases is now scheduled for late next year. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.